Well, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are on our way to go and have a look at the 135, seeing how uh, it's coming along and uh, we've gotten up early and we're on the A11 this morning with the Defender. First proper road trip out with this since I picked it up. I've got some coffee, need the caffeine in the morning and uh, also got a cheeky bacon roll this morning as well. Went to the old Greg's. So um, we'll have, have this breakfast and then we'll be on the road. It's just like absolutely throwing it down. Just I've just come through a place called Elverdon for anyone who knows that um, and it has just started throwing it down. But it's not a bad day to go and look at the 135 in the rain and I've got a piece of the, for the Manatee to pick up on the way back. I've got some parts to go and get but I need my caffeine. Yeah, so today's video topic you've got to comment what's your favourite breakfast? Do you have breakfast or uh, do you maybe skip breakfast? Are you a cereal, toast, bacon roll sort of person? I myself I do like if I'm on the road you just can't beat a good bacon roll. Um, although most mornings I just have a bit of toast. Two pieces of toast and a, a cup of coffee. Right, let's go and find this 135. Let's go. Okay, so we're just driving along here. I don't know if this is coincidence or what, but look at this, cherry products. <laughs> hey! Muck grabs, buckets, all from X4. Services restore practice. It's a lovely part of the world here in Cambridge, uh, Cambridgeshire. Lovely farm. That is stunning. Picturesque. Good. Come on, Come on, girl. Yes. What a machine. Okay, so we're back at uh, Young's Tractor Restoration. We've got the 135. Here she is. I know you, everyone's wanted to see us. It's coming along really well. It's just had the engine rebuilt. This is the fuel pump, which has all been redone, if you have a look at that. The bushings have been redone. And the front axle has had a new bushing put in because the front axle was uh, quite badly worn over the years. And if you just have a look here, we've got all new pins and bushings in all of the parts and a uh, new lift pump there. And complete, completely rebuilt engine. Rebuild transmission. This is fantastic. Look at all of that, all the parts just shining up, and it's also uh, get being prepped for uh, painting soon before long. So this is just fantastic to see the 135 finally coming together. Um, it's it's a long process, and then just next to the 135 is this 574, which the last time we saw it was in was quite rusted out. Just have a look at this. That's really coming along as well. Um, that looks absolutely fab as well. Um, so they, they do some fantastic work here. Um, and here she is, yeah. So you've got that lovely Perkins 83 diesel engine, the P3. What a lovely engine. Um, so yeah, it won't be long until it's almost finished and uh, repainted and put back together. For the most part, mechanically, it's all there. It's all there. It, we just need the... Uh, you know, to, to, it's all cosmetics now at this point, so. Woohoo, it's brilliant. And then just outside for you guys, there's a little bit of a treat. Um, maybe it's coincidence, but uh, I've been speaking to you guys about a secondary tractor for quite some time. And there's a, a really nice 6910 here today, which is off the farm. Six, John Deere 6910, I think it's a power quad. Um, what a tractor, what a tractor. I know a lot of you guys like the 6910. In yesterday's video, when I asked you about what's your favorite tractor, um, a lot of people did say the 6910 or the 6930s, 6920s, um, but what a, what a machine. This one's apparently done 12,000 hours and it's still going strong. I mean, the great thing about these old 10 series is you can just rebuild them and keep them going. There's minimal electronics on them. Um, this is nice. I love the deep dish rims with the wide tyres. 710s on it. I mean, look at that on a 6910. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so maybe something to consider for the future, 6910 as a secondary tractor. It's six cylinders, you know, easy to rebuild when you consider it, when you compare it to the new tractors nowadays. I can get the parts relatively easily. 
Um, leave a comment in the comment section down below. What do you think about six nine ten? Yeah, you've seen the you've seen the one three five. So uh, it's not long. It's another probably about another six weeks until it's repainted and, and all uh, fixed and restored. So um, yeah, it's absolutely chucking it down. So we've chosen the right day to come. We were we were going to take it out for a drive, but uh, I don't think we will now. We'll have to wait until it's finally rebuilt. Um, so uh, we'll head off back to the farm. We've just got to whip into a dealership and get a part for the Manitou. But that is something to think about, 6910. Let me know in the comments down below. That is stunning. Great tractor. All right, and just like that, we're back at the farm and uh, I've got a, a delivery came, which came in from France here. I went to pick it up on the way home from Ferdinand and Standen, Massey Ferguson, uh, Agco Manitou dealership. And, uh, oh, bloody hell. Now, yeah, guess what it is? It is. It's a new manager roof. Because I, I hold my hands up. <laughs> Previous one I cracked uh, when we were mucking out the shed. So it's just a piece of plastic which goes over the air conditioning. To, uh, these things happen. So I'll get this put on tomorrow at some point. We'll pop this on. This should go over where the manatee's rear is. Uh, rear of the cab and then it just bolts in but yeah like I say it wasn't ideal it was expen an expensive mis expensive mistake I was just reversing back in the shed and uh, as I was going back there was a piece of muck underneath the tyres and it lifted the manatee up and I hit a steel girder this part of the machine hit the steel girder and then it's just cracked along here there's a line on the on the manager at the moment. We'll pop this on at some point. Thanks very much to Thurlin Unstand and TNS for putting it on order and getting it in in such quick time. And also thanks to uh, a chap there called Jack who uh, gave me this, which is a converter for the Defender. So if I put this into the plug socket, I can now, it'll go into there with the pin plug there. Uh, I can now tow the Ive Williams trailer. So uh, thanks very much for that, Jack. I really appreciate it. And uh, Thanks for watching the videos. Keep subscribing, keep watching. Yeah, you'll see this being used, I'm sure, in the future. Um, actually, later on this week, we need to go and find a flatbed trailer, a, a Eiffel Williams flatbed twin axle. Um, so we'll go and pick that up with the Defender, and hopefully we'll do a good deal with uh, on a second-hand one somewhere. Somewhere around here, there's a 750-kilogram small trailer, which I normally use for uh, transporting small things, which I have been using. We're going to part exchange that for another one, a bigger one, on the 20th of, on the 20th of September when I can tow a bigger trailer. And uh, the I need a good flatbed trailer for towing small tractors. So I hope twin axle will be enough. It should be fine. I know you can get the triple axle ones nowadays and the big tired ones, you know, you get the small wheels, the big wheels. I think I'll go for the small wheels, twin axle. So it's absolutely chucking it down now. I've got to go and put all the barley back to the back of the grain store because we're going to grind that later on for feed. Um, later on in the week. We're just going to uh, pick this up and uh, I'll pop this in the workshop for now, keep it safe. And uh, <laughs> I better take Clover out for a walk. It's been an awesome day. I love going to Cambridge. Even though it's been chucking it down, the Defender did well going through the rain there. It's, it's, it's built for, you know, going through mud, going through rain. And I tell you what, the next time in this country that's the beast from the east, I'm going to be ready and waiting with the Defender. I can't wait for the next bit of snow we have. I'll be whizzing up and down the lane, pulling everyone out whilst everyone's in there. BMWs, whatever it is, stuck. Uh, Mercedes getting stuck. Uh, I'll be soldiering on in the Defender. So uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching today's video. Keep an eye out for the next video when we'll be looking at flatbed trailers and lots of other goodies, 165s and all sorts. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. This, cherry products. <laughs> Muck grabs, buckets, all from X4. Okay, so now we've just come into Cambridge here, we're coming in. Glad I took the Defender today. <laughs> Lovely farm. That is stunning.